All right, so here we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, three uh, main frameworks that we see for authentication that are often used with wireless networks. Uh, EAP, LEAP, and PEEP. So the first one here is the extensible authentication protocol. And this one primarily gives us um, a use for authentication for a lot of wireless networks. We'll see specifically uh, five different types of um, EAP adopted. Uh, typically we have the um, WPA and WPA2 and those are the standards that we usually will see for EAP. Um, specifically, let me just uh, organize these a little bit differently. So the five types, you got those are one and two. Okay, and then, and those are the standards. And then we also will have EAP running over um, TLS. It could run over EAP, uh, the PSK. And we talked a little bit about that yesterday. Uh, and then the ES, EAP running over MD5. So um, that's just specifically um, or just some ways that we've adopted for secure wireless com communications. Uh, so what we usually will see, though, are these bottom two down here. We'll see LEAP and PEEP show up on the exam. And um, we'll enumerate those right now. So if we go through and um, just talk a little bit about some of these real quick, the uh, uh, just taking a, a step back here, I, I think I may have uh, mistyped this up here. This should be instead of WAP, it should be EAP. So EAP over TLS right here, it actually will give us the tunneling through the extensive authentication protocol using a tunneled transport layer security. And what this does is it gives us uh, one more layer of security against any of the man in the middle attacks that may happen. So if we went through into a small office or maybe a home office and we wanted to start sniffing the network traffic, what we could usually see is uh, any new EAP messages that are produced would allow um, hosts to join the network and use WPA or WPA2 protocols. Uh, a lot of times you see another thing that's, uh, that's pushed out there. I don't know if you guys have printers or other devices that are available that use WPS, Wi-Fi protected setup, but sometimes we'll see that and uh, it requires you to maybe you know, press a button on one of the printers and then press a button on the access point in order for the enrollment of that particular uh, near field or uh, uh, close by communication to take place. So sometimes you'll see specifically uh, WPS or maybe uh, uh, near field communication go on with that. Uh, so that's just something to think about whenever you start talking about the uh, uh, EAP. Uh, with the lightweight extensible authentication protocol, usually we'll see this um, start to take over for for the EAP because EAP is uh, uh, less secure, and uh, the lightweight extensible uh, authentication protocol gives us. Uh, a uh, little bit more flexibility um, and I believe it was created by Cisco so uh, just keep that in mind it makes sense maybe uh, Cisco when they acquired Linksys actually um, came up with this proprietary protocol uh, so it was uh, given the uh, way to allow specific things to happen um, and to try to fix problems with WEP that oftentimes mutual authentication happens 
and with the leap to, to try to um, thwart any types of uh, weak protocols. Um, off the top of my head, I think that with Leap, the uh, and I'd have to do a little bit more uh, reading on this, but um, you can go out and look at Cisco's website to find out more information, but um, it sends across um, less information like the authentication header as opposed to the entire packet to do authentication. So uh, look that up and, and let me know what you find for that. All right, so that's Cisco proprietary. Usually, um, Cisco now does not recommend it because it is susceptible uh, and, con and it's considered a weak EAP authentication protocol. So now a lot of times what we'll see is this peep down here. So Cisco, RSA, and Microsoft, three big dogs in the industry, came up with the, the PEEP, and it stands for the, um, I think it's protected, let me look it up real quick, protected, extensible, somebody just checked me to make sure I'm, I got this right, authentication protocol, and uh, that was developed by the three-headed monster that's shown up here, the, the Microsoft, RSA, um, and Cisco, and um, they started offering this with uh, Windows XP. So PEEP was offered uh, initially with XP, and um, now uh, most versions of Win Windows as well as uh, Ubuntu um, oftentimes will have the flavors of PEEP in there. Um, it's considered more secure because it establishes this thing called an encrypted channel. establishes the encrypted channel between the person who is wanting to authenticate, uh, who's the client, and the server who is authenticating. Uh, so that's usually what we see for the, the three uh, main protocols on the exam for wireless. We'll see the uh, extensible authentication protocol which is been, has been phased out. Leap also has been phased out, but now we see uh, PEEP on the exam um, as well. Hold on one second. 